<clears throat> so PGRM in 4 my Kubernetes. Um, yes, this is possible. So PGRM in 4 can be deployed alongside Postgres clusters using the operator. Um, and it synchronizes Postgres users, you know, between that are you know, managed by the operator and PGRM in 4, which is actually quite powerful. Um, and it basically lets you have the seamless integration with PG Admin 4. Um, it works both with managed operator accounts, the operators managing the user credentials, as well as unmanaged accounts, where basically the, the Postgres, um, Postgres is, um, you know, managing them, you know, without the help of the operator. So that all said, Let us see how that actually works. And of course, my window disappeared. There we go. All right, so the first thing is we're gonna create pgadmin alongside. And the command's very simple. It's pgo create pgadmin HIPAA. In a different window, I'm gonna set up a port forward um, to the pgadmin pod so I can access it. And Actually, I realized what I should have done is I should have shared my browser window. So PJ Admin 4 is coming up. Uh, it takes a moment, but when it comes up, you get a page like this. And I can put in my credentials, which are Hippo and Data Lake. The user might not have been created yet. So let me go back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new user. Um, that's right. I didn't. I didn't create the actual hippo user. So I'm gonna create a user. Um, username equals hippo. Password equals data lake. Or actually, sorry, I messed up my credentials. Test user data lake. Yeah, there we go. The the user was test user. So then I logged in. I'm logged into PG Admin four, and I have access to the database. I can log in, I can open up the query tool, I can create a table. I can insert data into the table. And I can inspect the table. And everything's synchronized. Oh, sorry, I need for posterity's sake, I need to put the command in correctly. So everything's synchronized and it is wonderful. If I add a new user, the new user is added to it as well. So if I create that user hippo that I was referring to, um, what I can do is I can log out as test user, log in as hippo, and it works. And if I delete, and if I delete the hippo user from from uh, my cluster. and I try to log in again as Hippo, it doesn't work. So everything everything is synchronized. 